And for any listeners who may not fully understand, can you explain what's actually happening in the brain when someone views pornography and why it can feel so powerful and even addictive? Uh, we'll do a quick anatomy class here. If, if we were just to simplify it to answer your question, you can think of like the limbic system as like the gas pedal of the brain uh, and, the, and the prefrontal cortex like the brake pedal of the brain. So this is the part that gives us really the ability to kind of slow down think about our thinking, metacognition, it's the empathy. So it's the ability to kind of slow down and go, okay, you know, it does feel fun to drive 120 miles down the freeway, right? But it may not be the best idea, right? I got things to do tomorrow. So I should probably like, you know, keep it down a little bit. So that's kind of the regulator of the brain. And so, you know, in some ways, we're all primed to look for something to feel better, right? That's a human thing. It's not not an addiction thing. Uh, and so when the teenage brain starts coming online, and we start getting exposed again, earlier and earlier to some of these powerful uh, experiences and substances. It's like that lights up the limbic system, that middle part of the brain, right? That teenage brain, the more you fire the limbic system, right? The, the more overactive, hyperactive this gets. When this is lit up like a Christmas tree, what they observe is that basically the prefrontal cortex, the top part of the brain goes dark, meaning we kind of create this limiting effect where, you know, now I'm kind of looping in my limbic system and I don't have the brake pedal that I need to slow myself down. And so you do that for, you know, years and years, decades and decades. It's like we are in many ways underdeveloping our adult brain, our ability to slow down and re regulate and connect with others. And we're just lighting up that teenage brain like a Christmas tree. And so in some ways, it's a form of like brain damage, arguably. A drug is a drug is a drug. Even if people are not reaching for pornography, for instance, they might switch to something else, right? We, we kind of have that whack-a-mole thing. And so you'll see like some of these binge purge patterns where, okay, I'm not going to do this for a time, but then I'm still lighting up my brain in another way with something else. And then I wonder why like I can't seem to break free, right? Because I'm always kind of finding something to, to substitute for that. Right. And then when that prefrontal cortex goes offline and you no longer have that breaking system to help regulate that, that's where we see things escalate. Yeah, without question. I mean, uh, there's there can be a number of drivers, but that's absolutely without question one of the one of the things that's happening.